Hello guys and gals, this is Code for Geek and I'm your friend Adesh. The GNOME desktop environment has been one of the most controversial Linux desktops out there. People did not like when the switch from GNOME 2 to GNOME 3 happened and that's how the Mate desktop was born, by forking GNOME 2. And people also did not like it when they switched from GNOME 3 to GNOME 40. Yes, I know the naming scheme was horrible, but you get the point. Now, I'm a user of GNOME since more than 4 years. That's when I started using Linux and in this video, I will look at some of the most common criticism of the GNOME desktop and I will defend the developers and my choice to use GNOME despite all the valid or invalid criticism this desktop environment has. First of all, let's get this point right off my back. If you are using any other desktop or window manager, good for you. This is not a criticism of other developers or users, I'm just talking about what I like. Before we proceed, make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel if you want more such videos on your feed. Alright, so the stock GNOME 47 desktop looks something like this. There's the Advaita theme, the application windows do not have any maximize and minimize buttons, and the dog gets hidden whenever you are on the desktop. And to see the dog, you'll have to first click on the pill button and then you can access the dog and the app menu. I get this criticism, but my valid response is customization. There's GNOME tweaks, using which you can add maximize and minimize button. And there are extensions, using which you can add dash to dog or dash to panel. Both of these extensions can be helpful depending on what you like. For the theme, you can get user themes extension. And again, there's tons of good themes out there. And this is one of my favorite. Both of these tools are discussed on our site linux by the way. This did happen to me a while ago and by a while ago I meant when the switch from GNOME 3 to GNOME 40 happened. That is 4 years ago. It was dash to dock and it broke. I remember it very clearly and it was annoying. But the thing is that happened 4 years ago during the transition which was huge and in the later version of GNOME since GNOME 40 to 47, not one extension broke in my experience. It should be noted that I use the following extensions and I keep it to minimal because I'm on a laptop and I don't need that many fixes to begin with. Another criticism that you may have heard about GNOME that it's bloated or that it consumes too much system resources such as RAM or disk space. But guys, it's 2025 now. 16 GB RAM is a minimum requirement nowadays for anyone buying a PC. And about that old hardware, yes, I agree with you that GNOME is not meant to run on those systems. And if you are counting bloat, you should be better off using window manager or something. Because every desktop, be it Cinnamon of Linux Mint or KDE of various distribution, are filled with a lot of tools and applications which you might never use. Uh, you don't call everything bloatware. Again, you can use a window manager if you really don't like bloat. And whatever you are not using, you can uninstall it, right? Once again, this video is not about what you should or should not use. Use GNOME if you like it or use something else, whatever suits your need. That was it for this video. Once again, I have given links on how you can customize the GNOME desktop using various tools. So you might want to check it out. See you in the next one.